every morning at 6 a.m. I am looking at my phone, waiting for verification of the previous day's test results. Um, you know, are we in the clear or are we not? And what necessary adjustments need to be made? What investigations, if any, need to be made? That has been our life and not only ours here in Pittsburgh, but ours collectively as members of the National Football League since July. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Steelers Live, a Tomlin Tuesday edition. I am Missy Matthews. Coach Tomlin said this morning was a good morning when he looked at the Steelers test results from yesterday. However, the same could not be said in Cleveland. The Browns have announced that head coach Kevin Stefanski, two other coaches and two other players have tested positive for COVID-19. So that is something to follow this week. Their special teams coordinator will be serving as the head coach for Sunday in the wildcard game. Obviously, I know very little about Coach Prefer um, in terms of global decision making as it pertains to being a head coach, uh, but I'm sure that they're going to disperse many of those responsibilities. Sure, he'll be the guy acting as head coach on the sideline and making decisions pertaining to, to challenges and things of that nature, but I imagine behind the scenes that they're going to disperse uh, Coach Stefanski's responsibilities, and so it, it's not just Coach Prefer. Um, and so I'm not going to spend a lot of time worrying about that. The Steelers had three players who are currently on the COVID-19 list miss the regular season finale. Coach Tomlin said there's no update at this point on Joe Hayden, Eric Ebron, and Cassius Marsh for the wild card game. He did add that the Steelers have extended their COVID-19 testing to the family and friends of the team heading into the playoffs. Now, in terms of injuries, Coach Tomlin sounded optimistic about the return of some players and also some who are currently on IR. But, but as always, participation in practice will be the guide for the Steelers when they resume practice tomorrow at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. Some of the guys that maybe missed action because of lack of health, um, Terrell Edmonds, Boswell, uh, for example, may get an opportunity to, to work their way back into the fold, and we should anticipate that. But we also have some guys who who, who are getting clearance to, to work this week, and that work this week may produce an opportunity for them. Uh, Robert Spillane is, is one significant one, and Matt Filer is another significant one. And so the inclusion or the potential of inclusion of those guys is exciting, but it also creates some challenges from a decision-making standpoint because we just feel like we got some options. The guys that, that played and replaced with some of those guys have done good work for us. And so um, that's a good problem to have as we prepare this week. All right, and someone who stepped up in Week 17, according to Coach Tomlin, was tight end Kevin Rader, especially when it came to his special teams play and possibly getting Spillane back into the lineup this week would create some depth at that and inside linebacker. You know, it more than anything, it provides quality depth at some of the core special teams positions where linebacker play is a significant component. I mentioned... Um, the contributions of Kevin Rader on kickoff. Well, I'm excited about the tight end who's capable of making three tackles on kickoff because of the body type, because of the scarcity of linebacker body types uh, to, to provide that service. And so, you know, forget defense. Having quality depth at that position fills uh, very, very important roles in, in the special teams phase as well. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that. Wide receiver Deontay, John De Deontay Johnson excuse me, has had his share of ups and downs in the regular season, but ended on a high note. He did not have a touchdown in Week 17, but he did have three catches for 96 yards, including a 47-yard grab. Here's Coach Tomlin on his bounce back. You know, it's important that we all kind of, you know, if we can, um, go into the single elimination tournament on the upswing and, you know, the ups and downs over the course of the season and, Sometimes you're not afforded that opportunity. You don't get do-overs. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, the tape is our tape, and it is ours. It is our walking, talking, breathing resume. Um, it's not about what we say. It's about what we do. And uh, through it all, I think he understands that, and, and he has not run away from that. And I think that's why um, his play is moving in the direction that it's moving. All right, Ben Roethlisberger did not play in Cleveland for Week 17. Actually, didn't even go on the bus to Cleveland. Stayed here in Pittsburgh, and I had a chance to catch up with him heading into our wild card game this Sunday at Heinz Field. Here is a little preview. That's how you be a leader. That's how you be a leader. Can 
you go back to 2004 in your first postseason game and just anything you remember from the Jets, it was at Heinz Field, the divisional round, and maybe anything that you experienced or advice that you were given that sticks out to you. Uh, that was some of the advice I received. I remember we had a group meeting, uh, and a team meeting, I'm sorry, and I don't, I don't remember who got up and spoke, but someone got up and, and it was a veteran guy that, that just preached on, on how important this moment is and this opportunity and every little uh, mistake is magnified. Every big play is magnified. And, and really it's, you know, it's that one, one game tournament, truthfully. I mean, you gotta win that game to move on. And so um, that was a long time ago that I played in that game, but I just remember um, relying so much on the veteran guys and just telling myself not to screw up. All right, you can catch the full interview with Ben Roethlisberger tomorrow morning on Steelers.com and the Steelers official mobile app. Thanks so much for joining me here today for Steelers Live. We'll be back here tomorrow at 4 p.m. What's up, Steelers Nation? It's your boy, Juju Smith-Schuster here. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Steelers' official YouTube channel. Thanks again. Here we go, Steelers.